somewhere on the astral plane. What was that? I think that was an out of body traveler who just raced by. I want to fly too. Hello and welcome to the Matrix I again, with the wonderful Jonathan and the pretty Shiva. Our topic today is in 10 minutes to introduce 10 out of body experiences techniques. Yeah, 10 good techniques to prepare to experience an out of body experience. That means to separate yourself with your astral body from the physical body and to have experiences within the astral body. We don't want to talk around for long and really just introduce you to the techniques. One minute per technique. So that you can get in straight away and also experience an out of body experience. Have fun and success. Technique one, the projection method. For example, you sit at your desk and view it entirely and exactly in every detail. Feel the surface. You memorize everything exactly as detailed as possible. Take another look around. You are very present at your desk. And when you have memorized everything exactly, you go to bed and try to relax. And as soon as you have slipped into a comfortable relaxed state, then you start to imagine you are back at the desk. Imagine everything exactly again. Maybe zoom in a bit. Imagine how you touched it. And yeah, if you do it for a long time, your body really thinks at some point you are there, your astral body. And then you are probably really sitting at the desk with your astral body. The next out of body experience technique, breathless. The point is that you use your breath to be able to feel the astral body. For this, you also lay down comfortably in your bed. Calm down. And if you manage to relax your body as much as possible, breathe deeply in and out 10 times. And then hold your breath. And hold your breath as long as possible, but not like this. Breathe calmly and hold easily your breath. And then you feel the energy that rises in the body the longer you hold your breath. And after a while, you feel a throb. This throbbing then try to steer to the back of your neck. And that's just the point, that you feel this throbbing at your neck. And start all over again. The elevator method. You imagine that you are in an elevator. This elevator is within in a skyscraper and you go up all floors to the very top. Once at the top, imagine how the elevator rope breaks and the elevator whizzes down. So you imagine this feeling of falling exactly. You practically feel it is as you fall, fall and fall. And then you will already feel how your astral body makes itself felt. For this, of course, you lay down in bed very relaxed. Slide into the alpha state and imagine the elevator method. It is important that you do not focus on the vibrations or the frequency increase or decrease, but just really do the exercise. Dass du dich nicht fokussierst auf die Vibration oder die Frequenzanhebung oder Vertiefung, sondern einfach nur wirklich die Übung machst. The next technique. And that is the movement illusion. Movement illusion is about moving your astral body without moving your physical body. Or to move without moving. For this you lie relaxed in a dark room. And if you are really relaxed, try to move your arms or your hands here. Try to use as much strength and intensity as you can afford at the mo moment to move. But don't move the muscles. Instead, imagine again and again that you want to move your astral arm. Ideally, with the arms or heads, start with it. It is important not to forget not to move the muscles, but just to move the astral body, the astral arm. The dark spots. This is a technique where you can lie down in bed in a very relaxed manner. Go deeper and deeper with your frequency range into alpha and theta. 
And as soon as you are very relaxed, you concentrate on what you see in front of your eyes, on the flashing spots in front of your eyes, the energies you can see, the colors you see, the dots you see. You concentrate and focus on all of this while you are in this relaxed state. And it is important that the points or energies you see do not follow with your eyes. That means your eyes really stay still. And only you see what's happening in front of your eyes. The next technique, the 3D space. This technique is about focusing on the blackness in front of your eyes again. While you have already reached a certain relaxed state. And as soon as you are deeply relaxed with your body, then you concentrate on the blackness in front of your eyes. It's not about somehow to focus on the dots, as in the technique at the beginning. It's about concentrating only on the blackness and to create the three-dimensional effect. The aim is to perceive the blackness in three dimensions in front of your eyes, as if you were actually standing in a black room, and you can also see and feel that you are now looking into a black 3D room. So it's about three dimensionality in this technique, to perceive it inside this room. Quote of the day, this time by Robert A. Monroe, in line with our topic today. Recognize and remember that you are more than your physical body. Next technique, the rope. You are lying in bed very relaxed again and imagine a rope that hovers over you. Then you imagine how you pull yourself up on this rope. But no, it shouldn't be easy, flaky easy, but like in a physical education. You may remember that, that you had to pull yourself up on the rope at school maybe. And that's really very tiring. And it should also be very, very tiring. So you pull yourself up on this rope with all your efforts. And so you pull your cell body out of your physical body and then goes on trips. As I said, the feeling has to be really intense and there has to be a really strong effort. How you pull yourself up on this road? Really like in physical education. You don't do this totally easy either, but you have to pull yourself really hard on this road. The next technique is for those who have had an out-of-body experience. The technology is called reconnection. And this is also all about this technique. Namely, that you reconnect with your experience at the time where you have had already an out-of-body experience. So you pretend to be relaxed in a dark room. Recall the moment before you had an intense out-of-body experience. You focus on this experience. Recall every element of this experience. And again, try to create the feeling that you experienced in the past out-of-body experience. This creates a connection to the self at that time with which you have experienced this out-of-body experience. So you call back the feeling of the out-of-body experience to get back in there. Next technique, the sleep deception. If you remember your childhood, you might have gone to bed and pretended to be asleep so that your parents didn't notice that you are actually still awake. And that's exactly the trick. The trick for the next technique, the sleep deception. You are pretending to your body that you are actually asleep, but be still awake with your consciousness, and so the body thinks you asleep. So your body enters the sleep paralysis. And zack, can you free yourself from your physical body with your astral body and go on a trip? It is important that your body believes that you are already asleep. Sleep. And of course, there will be an urge to eat here or there, or you have to turn to the side, or no idea. At some point, this urge arises. You have to resist it very strongly. You mustn't move a bit. You just have to stay rigid. Keep up, keep up. Even if you have to swallow, swallow. But pretend you are sleeping, and whoosh, you move out. 
And now the last technique for today, earthquake. The point is to lie down in a dark room again. Relax and then focus on the quietness that surrounds you. It should be very quiet in the room. It may even be very advisable to use earplugs so that it is nice and quiet. And in this silence you imagine that it is the quietness before an earthquake. Many have heard of it before, maybe in the news or in some movie or video, that everything is suddenly quiet shortly before the earthquake comes. The birds are silent, the animals are silent, people are suddenly silent. Everything around you becomes silent. And that's what it is about, that you concentrate on the silence, that you will to feel then. And imagine that is the silence before the storm, the silence before the earthquake. You adjust to the silence, respectively focus on it, until the earthquake suddenly occurs. When the earthquake occurs, then you come into the state in which the astral body begins to vibrate. And it just feels like an earthquake. It's about to happen. Question of the day. Now we come to the question of the day. Slavomir asked, can you meet on the out-of-body experiences and travel together? Can you visit friends from here and now and communicate with them? Yeah, thank you for this question. Of course, this is a question that is more common and asked. According to the objective reality of astral travelers, out-of-body experiences. How objective is the experience? Or is it just a pure subjective matter? And that's just a question that many ask. Not a lot of research has been done in this regard, but with a positive result. Personally, I can say that I have often met other people on the astral level. They could remember indeed at the other day what I had done. And I could remember what that did. Um, so it's extremely clear to me that out-of-body experiences are a fairly objective reality. How objective this really is may not yet be fully understood. But from my point of view, I would say, yes, it's possible. You can meet others on the astral plane who focuses on it at the same time and also manage to leave their physical body. Yeah, and they can actually meet. For example, I once have had an experience where I woke up at night because someone was pulling on me. And then I opened my eyes and I saw a friend standing by my bed in her astral body. I saw that very clearly and how she stood there and tried to get me out of my body. And the other day, of course, I called her straight away and asked, Hey, you, did you stand astrally at my bed tonight? Do you remember something? And she immediately said, yeah, awesome, Jonathan, it worked. I lay down last night and I concentrate on visiting you astrally and trying to get you out of your body. So I think it is possible to meet together on the astral level. And it is also possible to visit others and pull them out of the body. For example, that is always the case happened on my out-of-body experiences worship too. Live workshops from 6th until 7th June 2020 and 20 in Nuremberg. I pulled a lot of people out of their bodies at my workshops and they could confirm that the other day and also describe how I stood there and pulled on them. So, scientifically it may not have been properly proven that out-of-body experiences have an objective reality. But for me, personally, it is proven. Yeah, guys, these were our 10 techniques for learning out-of-body experience. Simple techniques you can use. And everyone can use it. And yeah, what do you mean, Shiva? I have had very good results with some of these techniques. So, we wish you much success with it. Yeah, so I started with the motion illusion technique at first. Yeah, me too. I started with that and this time weren't many techniques yet. I don't even think there exists internet there. Yeah, and I started with that. 
And later I switched to the technique that Chiba described. It was always my favorite technique. To concentrate on the stars or the dots in front of the eyes. And I still do that today to quickly get into the state. I agree, me too. To do these color flashes and that exactly. Right, because that also calms the inner dialogue. Exactly, it becomes silent then, it calms it down a lot. And I always try it with this technique, to concentrate on looking behind this black wheel of dots, to look behind it, imagining that what I see is just a wheel, and to try to break this wheel with my concentration and attention. Still the most effective techniques for me. But try out these techniques for yourself. And if one of them is with the desired effect, then keep on with this technique. Because I have made this constant changing of techniques in the beginning and then you don't get that much success then. If you were successful with one of these 10 techniques, keep using it. People stay in a good shape. Yeah, we wish you every success. So you do it. Chaka. See you soon. Ciao. Bis bald. Ciao.